Well, hey girl, if you are wanting to learn how to get some voluminous straight hair like this right here, then I'm gonna invite you to stay with my video today because I am teaching you how I flat iron my hair, but actually get it to have some volume and some oomph to it with this Hot Tools flat iron right here. Stay tuned, it's coming your way right now. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here for a bit, if you are new, I am super pumped that you are here today. My name is Lauren and my channel is all about making beauty easy for the girl who thinks that she can't both internally and externally. My hope today is that you will consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you can get alerts every single time I upload new videos, which is every single Friday, every third Thursday and every fourth Tuesday of the month. I had to think about it. And today we are actually talking about voluminous straight hair and how to create a really pretty straight hairstyle that actually has some volume with it with a flat iron. Um, if you've been a part of my channel for any length of time, you know that I'm one of those girls that loves, loves, loves big hair. I don't care if it goes out of style. I will always, always, always probably have big hair in some form of teasing somewhere in my hair because I just can't stand it flat to my head. So in saying that, I wanted to actually teach you one of my go-to hairstyles, which is straight hair. I do have straight hair pretty much naturally, but to get this kind of volume, I do have a couple of techniques that I wanted to show you today. So let's go ahead and jump into my tutorial and I will teach you how to get some volume in your locks. Let's go. All right, let's jump right in. So I have um, my hair up and ready to go with first layer ready to start that flat ironing process. I do have dry shampoo in my hair today. It's day one hair, um, but I already went to the gym today, did my shower, sweated to death, and I needed to you know, spruce it up because it was disgusting. Um, and so I put some of this in it to give it a little more grit. I obviously did the same technique that I've used for all of my hair videos. I'll link the products playlist, pray the products playlist that I have for y'all on all the products that I've been using in my hair currently. Um, blow dried it the right way, all of that good stuff to make sure that I have the best chance at keeping my volume. So let me show you how I actually will flat iron my hair but have a lot of volume in the process when it's done. So let's go ahead and jump in. We're just gonna start. My flat iron is a Hot Tools. I'll link this one for you below. I love it because it does have a thermometer. Um, so one of the best things you can do is have um, tools that actually have a thermometer because you don't need your flat irons or any of your irons to be on the hottest temp to get the best result. You just need it to be the hottest temp that your hair needs in order to get the result. So this one goes all the way up to 450 and I usually put it on 410. So that's kind of nice. I think it could probably go a little bit lower, but I haven't tried that in a long time. So anyway, all that to say that it's ready to go. It's green. So we're just gonna flat iron the first layer. And what I like to do is kind of pull out a little bit away from the head so and give it a little bit of a not turn it under but we're just kind of giving it a bend if you will so just like so and I have a tiny tiny mirror that I am looking in today so a lot of this is gonna be muscle memory <laughs> I don't really get too concerned with that back layer because it's so far underneath that nobody really sees that anyway the main thing that I want to make sure of is that it's not turning some crazy direction. Direction, wow, direction. Okay, so let's go on to the next layer. And it's, my hair is so much grit in it already. Obviously you can see it's hard to pull up. That's the idea. I couldn't run my fingers through my hair if I tried right now. I don't ever like to be able to run my fingers through my hair. <laughs> okay, so this is layer here, or this layer here, we're not gonna do anything with, same concept. Perfect. So we've got enough bend in it. And now this is where we actually start creating the volume. I love this because it's so fast. It is my go-to style. I wear my hair flat, flat, straight, not flat. I wear my hair straight a lot. So let's go one more actually. So I try to section it off as evenly as I possibly can. It is a little hard when you have so much product in your hair that you can't quite run your hands through it, but that's okay. All right, so here's where it gets a little interesting if you want some volume. Again, this is optional, you don't have to do this, but anytime I show you a hairstyle, girl, I'm always gonna show you the best way to get you some volume in your life, okay? Okay, so we're gonna pull that section up above the ear. And I usually, you can start right at, at the ear if you want to, like you could technically start and tease this section here. I just don't think it matters. I think you can go like the one up, like basically where the end of your eyebrow is, that's where you wanna start and then you wanna tease all the way up going forward. 
So we'll pull the hair straight up just like so. We wanna give her a little spritz of hairspray. Try not to spray your face, which I just did. And then we'll just, boom. And see how that just kind of sits up? It's not gonna stay like that, but that's what you want. And then I, you know what? I wonder if I could turn around and show you this. So hold that thought. Okay, so ignore my grandma's sweater. I also have my office chair that I work in. I did not use my beauty chair today. So, you know, just ignore. But I can spin like so. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take the next section and we're just gonna pull up. I can't tell if it's even because I do not have eyes in the back of my head, but that's okay. We're gonna spray it. And then tease. Boom, just like that. Voila, <laughs> okay. All right, so then we do the next section. I know it's always hard to, you guys watch these tutorials, right? And you're like, what is she doing in the back of her head? Ain't nobody can see that back there. So even though it's not the most flattering angles, I at least wanna show you what it looks like. So that's what we do. Okay, so we'll take that next section. And did I, it looks like I missed some right there. So I'll just grab that. That's okay, that's a lot of hair for a section. So I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll pull that one down. We'll just do this one first. Pull straight up. Because my hair is on day one, it doesn't want to back comb as well as it does on like day two or three, where it's got a lot more, dare I say dirt, grime, sweat, everything in between in it. Um, so that's just how it is, day one hair. Okay, so then what you'll do is the main thing is, and I've said this in all my hair tutorial videos, when you start doing this and you're spraying your hair, you wanna make sure that what you've sprayed has dried before you go and put heat on it. Otherwise, you're gonna wind up like one of those girls who burns their hair right off, and that is not what we are trying to do. So I'm good on this side, so I'll start on that side first and then work my way around. Same concept, we're just gonna pull out and give it a slight bend, so we're just making kind of a roundish shape, if that makes sense. My hands, by the way, are so dark and brown because of my dry shampoo. So if you use, I love this Redken, but I know some of y'all aren't fans of getting your hands completely gross. I don't care, because I'll just wash them when I'm done, but in my tutorials, you'll always see that I have really dark fingers from my dry shampoo. Okay, anyway, enough yakking, here we go. So that's that section. You can see how much that just raised my hair from here. And that's all we're looking for. We don't want it big down here. We just want it kind of like, it's just a nice little like bend, almost like a, I don't know, it's, it's rounded. It, round, round. Try that again. It's rounded, but it just gives you a nice bend and it keeps that volume and that tease that you have all the way around your head. Okay, so then we'll do the next section. So. <laughs> oh, it's hard to grab y'all. see what's back here that should work okay so now we're gonna do the very same thing again all the way around my head until I get to this top portion with just my bangs so I'm gonna fast forward so you can see me do this and then I'll show you exactly what I do for the front section of my hair let's go So now what we'll do is I'll show you how I do these front sections of my hair to make it blend in with all the teasing and the volume that we have from the rest of the head. So what we want to do is we want to, if we're going to, I have to always think about this because it's backwards, but if we're going to part the hair over here, we want to flat iron it the opposite way so that it creates volume, okay? So what I like to do is I only want to tease this one little section right here. The rest of it, I really try not to tease at all because it just doesn't need it. So I'm just going to, I'm not even going to, well, maybe I will spray it because it's not, not as gritty as I like. So we'll just give it a one, two, and three, just like that, and then lay it down. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. This section definitely feels more gritty. So one, two, and three, lay it down, and that'll give you this look right here. Pretty much reminds me of the Ace Ventura, pretty awesome. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll take it section by section, because I don't want to flat iron anything that I've just sprayed hairspray in, just so I don't burn my hair. So what we're gonna do is grab our flat iron, and we'll go over like that. 
You just want to let it um, cool off on that side. So, too much. Same thing here. And now I'm kind of getting into that teased section, so I'll just brush it all up. that let it sit so you kind of have to let it sit for like I don't know maybe 60 seconds so I'll fast forward through that for you so you don't have to sit here and watch me twiddle my thumbs for 60 seconds while we wait for this to dry all right so that's been about that long it feels pretty cool to the touch now so now that I've messed up my part I'll show you what I do here we'll just section it back out did I get it close Close, close. Boom. So you see how much volume that gave me over here? And then we'll I'll brush that out once I'm done. But now we're just gonna do the same thing over here. Let that sit about 60 seconds and then flip it back over and I'll show you how I blend it all together. All right, so I flipped it back over and you can see it has so much more volume in it. So now I just need to make sure that all of these sections kind of blend together and nothing looks ratty um, or overly teased. That's not the look that I'm going for by any means. So I just kind of feel around and take a gander at it here in the mirror. Oh, if you hear a cat meowing, she's fine. My assumption is Lance just walked in the door and she's doing her cat thing. So that's really about it, y'all. And then I just, if there's any places where it looks a little bit too teased, and sometimes it's hard to tell with darker hair. If you have thinner hair, you're gonna be able to see the sections that might be a little bit ratty, so you can kind of cover those up. But that is really about it, and that is what I do. And I love it because I'll just usually tuck one side behind, and I just love that look. But this is how I get my straight, voluminous look to my hair. And I hope this helps you out so much. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that now so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, connect with me on social media. It is one of my favorite places to get to know you. And I, of course, will see you in my next video next week. Hashtag Reform Tomboy Family. I'll see you soon.